10 years ago, I remember, so remember this moment so clearly, 10 years ago, something happened in my life that turned my life from, hey, yeah, pretty good, to holy shit, what am I going to do now? Like from here to like down here where you're like, oh my God, oh my God, what am I going to do? And I went into my bathroom and I leaned on the sink and I put my hands down and I looked at myself in the mirror and like my face was like just stricken. I was like, like I still remember the expression on my face. And I looked at myself in the mirror and I remember saying this out loud. And I said, my hands were shaking. Like I was like, oh my God. I said, I have two choices right now. I can choose to lie down on the floor and give up. Or I can choose to fight. And I waited a second and then out loud I said, I choose to fight. I've never forgotten that moment or the power of those words when I said, I choose to fight. And over the next 10 years, I'm not going to lie, it wasn't always easy. I had times where I actually was lying on the floor crying. But I always got up, like every single time, obviously, because I'm not lying on the floor crying right now. So obviously, I did get up. But every time that I just felt like I can't do it anymore, I would get up and I would keep going. And it's not because I'm this like amazingly resilient little, you know, person or that I have some magic skill. It's because of one thing. There's one thing that keeps me going and that can keep you going if you're facing that same thing. And that one word is hope, right? That seems like such a simple word, like have hope. Well, but it's not though, because hope is the driving factor that gets you up when you feel like, I can't do it anymore. Um, all right, let's give an example. So. Think of something that is completely weighing you down right now. Like, like the kind when you think about it, your whole body goes, oh, too much, right? So I'll give an example. Let's say I feel like, like I'm going to get fired tomorrow and I'm not going to be able to pay my bills. I'm not going to be able to pay without my money. I can't take care of my kids. I can't take, take care of my partner. I can't pay, like I'm completely screwed and there's nothing I can do, right? Like that feels awful. So think about whatever that is and really like work it. Like feel, feel how hopeless it is. Like you're like, oh my God, whatever. Is it your health? Is it, you know, whatever, right? And how's that feel? It like feels horrible, right? You just want to lay down on the floor and cry, right? Now, I want you to so put it into a sentence like, I am afraid I'm going to get fired tomorrow. I'm not going to be able to pay my bills. Right now, at the very end, add, but maybe, just maybe, I can find a way to make it a little bit better. So you say, I'm scared that I'm going to get fired tomorrow and I'm not going to be able to pay my bills. But maybe, just maybe, there's a way that I can make it a little bit better. How's that feel? That feels better, right? like a little bit better. Maybe, just maybe, I can find a way to make it a little bit better. Breathe a little better. Why? Because you just inserted a little tiny sliver of hope. And that's all it takes. Because once you put that little wedge of hope in there, your brain starts going, okay, maybe, just maybe, I can make it a little bit better. I don't have to fix it, just a little bit better. And you start looking around, and you're like, what can I do to make it a little bit better? And then, like, an idea pops in your head, and you're like, oh, I could call this person to help. You call this person, and they're like, yeah, I can help. And all of a sudden, like, you're a little bit better. That's the power of hope. And see, you got hope, you feel a little bit better, and now it, you can lead it to the next phase, which is, like, faith or belief, and that is more powerful. So, like, take your so se same sentence, and then you add faith or belief. So you said, I'm afraid that I'm going to lose my job, but maybe, just maybe, I can find a way to make it a little bit better. That feels better. Now do. I'm afraid I'm going to lose my job, but I have faith that I can find a way to make it a little bit better. But I believe I can find a way to make it a little bit better. 
How does that feel? Raise your hand if that feels like you can breathe a little bit better. That'd be me. Now, take it to the next level. Have your sentence and then add, but I know I can find a way to make it a little bit better. You say, I'm afraid that I'm going to lose my job tomorrow, but I know that I can find a way to make it a little bit better. That is an entire shift of your body and your mindset and everything. And your brain starts kicking in and going, oh, okay, I know I can find a way to make this better. What do I got to do? And you start looking around and you see opportunities because you've pulled yourself out of the lying on the floor inertia where you can't see anything and you can't feel better. And all it took was that little tiny sliver of hope that you insert it into your thought. And that sliver of hope gets you like this far. And then you can add the faith or belief and it gets you up here. And then you can add the knowing and it gets you up here. And each step takes you. Like it's impossible to get from lying on the floor to like, I got this. You can't do that. But when you're lying on the floor and people are like, just get up, you got this. You're like, you can't, it's too far. But if you give yourself a little bit of hope, that's reachable from where you are. So the next time, like as in an hour, because we all face these things, that you're feeling like, I can't take this. Like, right? Your kids are screaming like, I can't take this anymore. I am going to scream at my kids. Say, I feel like I can't take my maniac kids anymore. <sighs> but maybe, just maybe, I can find a way to make the situation a little bit better. Right? Try it. It's the first step. And honestly, it's all we need. It's work for me. I'm not on the floor. It'll work for you. You deserve to feel better. Fight for it. Okay. That's that. Have a great day. Leave a comment below about whether you tried it and if it worked.